Okay. Hi everyone, this is Bonnie at Good Earth Spa, and today I'm making some soap live. It's my first time, so forgive me if anything crazy or boring happens. Okay. Um, here are here's my stuff. I'm gonna be making a goat milk soap. And so I have some goat milk here that I purchased from the store. And I have my lye solution over here, and I have some oils ready. And since it's live, there's not going to be any editing. It might get a little bit loud when I use the blenders and stuff. So this is the same as my regular goat milk soap that I always make, uh, except instead of unscented, I'm adding a scent. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the liquid oils into the melted hard oils. So I'll set that over here for now and show you my other stuff. The scent that I'm using, actually these three jars in the back are all split into uh, proportions, uh, two to one to one. Uh, they're, it's a Christmas tree fragrance and it's also pine essential oil and fur. And the reason why I have them split is because I want to do the colors before I do the scent because sometimes fragrances can just behave a little bit funny in your soap. And in here, my lye is in a one-to-one, -one, so I'm going to have to add the goat milk into it. And I'm going to do that right before I uh, mix it into the other oils. I have some colorants, too. And this is, they're mixed into oil as well, in the same sort of ratios that match how I'm going to swirl them. And in here, I have some titanium dioxide and some diamond dust mica. The goat milk usually discolors the soap a little bit, making it a little bit yellow. So hopefully that will lighten it up a bit, and if not, that's okay. And I have a green color in here that has, oops, sorry, <laughs> that has a little bit of blue, kind of like tones of blue. And then a green color in here that is more like true green. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to mix the green ones I'm going to do green and green and then mix the two greens together and then swirl them with, swirl the combined greens with the white side. That's my plan. Okay. So now, um, like I said, it's my first time going live using my mobile phone. And uh, I'm sorry if the angles are weird or if I get in your way or anything. I can't always see what's going on but and my mixer here gets kind of loud but this is what I use to mix my lye the KitchenAid so I'm going to turn it on I apologize for the noise and I'm going to mix in the goat milk it's going to change color a little bit So that is mixed. I had it set up so um, the batch is going to be like eight loaves that are about two pounds each. So I, I'm trying to see some of your questions. If I miss, it's because I'm not always looking right at the screen. Especially as soon as I get started because I have to be aware of like how it's setting up and everything. So let me get a temperature 85 I have on the oils and I have 90 on the lye. And I should probably get a spatula, too. I didn't think of that, but I have one right over here. Okay, Let's see, I have a couple of spatulas now in case I end up needing them. All right, here goes. This will be a soap that's probably going to be ready in December, like the beginning of December, maybe a little earlier.
not going to mix it too much before I do my pouring out because I want to spend this time mixing these colors that can be a little bit more stubborn. So I have three containers here to pour it into. My back. Sometimes I'm I'm going on and off because my connection maybe is not the best. So I apologize for that. Okay, I have only split them so far, so I don't know how much you missed. And I'm going to start with the colors. Starting with the white to hopefully lighten up this color. I don't know how well it will work lightening up the this color that happens from the goat milk, but I'll try. Next, I'm going to do the two green colors, one at a time. I don't know why it, it goes on and off line. I apologize for that. Maybe I'm too far away from the router. Okay, that made it pretty green. I have a second stick blender off to the side, but I don't think I'm actually going to need it. We'll see. I might use it to put the color or put the scent in the white, though. And now this one that's more of like a leaf green. Sometimes Christmas trees are more on a blue scale, and sometimes they're more like on a green, depending on what type you get. So I'm hoping that these look nice together. And that's my theme. <laughs> left to do is fragrance these and swirl them and then I'll be ready to pour them. And I have my molds that are ready off to the side. So the first thing is I have, let me take the lids off these. Oh, the Classico sauces fit mason jar lids. Little tip. <laughs> At least they did. I don't know if they still do unless they change packaging, but that's pretty cool. Because those lids are expensive to buy if you buy these, if you buy these ones.
this fragrance has never given me a problem with setting up too fast or anything, but I like to do the fragrance last before pouring and swirling and stuff, just in case, because you never know, maybe they reformulated it or whatever happens, or it didn't go well with the essential oils you added. Who knows what's going to happen when you're making soap sometimes. So it's safer to get those colors mixed first. I think so anyway. green ones back into the big pot, I think. I realized just now, maybe I could have done with another container, but I have this one and that way I'll get one less dirty. So when I mix some colors with some colors, I kind of like to do it a little bit at a time and it prevents them from over mixing. So I'm going to mix these two. Just a little bit. Let's see if you can kind of see what I did there. See, you can kind of see it. All right. Oops, sorry about that. And then I'm going to use this container over here to mix these this one first and with this one and then maybe a little bit more of this one and then I'm going to pour this into the first mold and we'll see how that looks and if I like that I'll keep going with that And my table's a little bit crooked, so I usually pour them on the stove, which is more level. So that's kind of the look. Oh, let me move that. You can kind of see the look better if I pour it down or if I put, point you down. There we go. Okay, that's the look that I'm coming out with. So I'll keep going like that. Move this one out. And I just so happen to like have the exact amount in the container. So I'm going to repeat all of that. I'm going to pour the two greens into the big pot and then pour those combined into the other one with the white. It's not really white, it's lighter. So I'm going to kind of sandwich them in light green light. I wish I had a way to make this table more even. My table is crooked. There's not much I can do about it. We're in the process of hopefully rebuilding the kitchen soon, within the next one or two years. And hopefully it's going to be awesome for videos and with a nice level counter. <laughs>
time I got two loaves and a pour. And I have to add some more into my pot, so I'm just adding some more green to the big pot. Probably a little bit out of your view. And that way I can kind of mix these up a little bit if they start to get too thick. Which they're starting to get thick now. Which will alter the swirl a little bit. It will change the swirl a bit, but it, would, it should still look pretty consistent. can probably see it better there. Actually, it being thicker is helping now with my little um, uneven counter because it will kind of sit up a little bit. So it's not so bad. Get this out of the way. what I have back into here. Now I'm getting less white, so maybe I should have used more green, but I'll try to space it out. At least all of it is scented evenly, so even if the colors aren't exactly matching the other loaves, everything else should be consistent. This is how much green I have left in each one. And this is probably going to be my last pour. Well, I have one more mold out here, over here, where you can't see. And I usually end up with a little bit extra. I'm live. <laughs> Come on over. He's like, no, I'm not a YouTube guy. Let's get all of this light color out of here that I possibly can, since this is the one that I ended up kind of using more of and having less of. And I just have a little bit more green, green mixture over here. And this is going to be my last pour. First I have to finish off this one. Oops, there we go. You're good. And this one. Make sure I get all those corners. And there, I made all the soaps and a little bit of a mess too, but not too bad. So I'm plugged in so I can't show all of them at the same time unless I bring them back over here. So I'll try to do that. And these will be again for like winter release, so 
I'm aiming for December or December 1st, but sometimes they're up a little bit early. Like I have two of my fall release soaps, actually two out of three. So it sounds like only two. No, but there's only three, but I have two up already. One of them I'm lazy with. So I have the pictures. I just have to do the rest. So give you a look at how these turned out. Of course, I can't cut them right now because I'm live, but you can kind of imagine how this will look. It will look beautiful. So here they are. And there's one more. The core just kind of get this out of here. Everyone's probably looking at my arms. There we go. Okay. All right, there it is. They smell really nice. It smells like Christmas in here. And let's see. I can't, sometimes I see people say stuff, but then it comes, it goes off the screen really fast. So thanks for watching. And that's about it for now. And let's see. The coupon code YouTube, all capitals, will get you 10% off at goodearthspa.com. So keep that in mind if you need some soaps. And if you're just hanging out, it was nice to see you. And I'll check out the comments and stuff later and see if I can answer any questions if there were any. Okay, bye-bye.